all right so thank you for stopping by thanks to all the subscribers so just got a new video card it went ahead and installed it in my desktop each time I go to run this uh, Windows experience index assessment it gives me an error and it seems to have uh, something to do with my new in newly installed video card now the error that I'm getting has something to do with some sort of video performance playback um, it should pop up here shortly. There you go. Could not measure video playback performance. Um, so I've run this test numerous times. Last time that I've actually run it, that it worked here, that you guys can see, is May 5th. Um, but since then, there wasn't any need for me to, to run it because, I, of course, I didn't change any type of hardware on my computer until recently and now that I've changed the, the, the uh, Vita card is keep giving me this uh, this error so the quick fix really is just to go to the start menu right click on my computer and go to manage ultimately you want to get into the device manager alright so just double click on device manager and then from there you want to click on display adapters in my case I have a R5 230 AMD video card you can choose to either update the driver software here which I tried as well and it didn't work but I also tried to uninstall the driver and that actually worked so once I uninstall the computer then of course restarted you will need to restart and it should up to you know sh Windows should automatically put a driver in there to fix all that problem if not then you will need to go back to your company's website and get the specific driver for that application alright so here I am just redoing the test now once you hit restart the assessment it is going to take some time um, because it is testing various components of your computer processor speed memory uh, the graphics and I'm mainly just checking out the graphics because you know I want to see what my new graphics card is like and until I do this test I won't be able to experience it so it's really good for uh, for you to do this test especially if you get a new video card in your Windows computer alright so it's pretty much halfway gone and it's still going so seems like it's actually going to go through without any problems at this point alright so seems like everything is going good without any hitch it's about probably 80, 70 to 80 percent complete at this point and it's still going strong now once the test finishes up here it should give you a new score on your system in my case I had a 3.5 on my uh, on, on this particular particular computer so I'm hoping to have some improvement from what I had and seeing that I haven't done the test since May 5th hopefully it's a huge improvement so let's see alright so it's almost done I'm just waiting for where it tells me that the assessment is complete there it goes screen flickers 3.3 and a 4.1 so there you have it I just jumped from a 3.3 to a 4.1 with this assessment if this helped you out please like the video thank you for watching and also please subscribe thanks